Honk if you're mad at Mellow, the sign outside Rosie Sports Bar on Tipperary Hill, allowing SU fans to sound out their frustration tonight. For some, Fab Mello not playing in the NCAA tournament brings a whole new meaning to March Madness. I'm disappointed. It changed my entire bracket. Syracuse isn't getting out of the second round now. The news has been busting brackets all over central New York today. I already filled it out, but I'm doing a lot of erasing right now. As fans watch teams battle it out for a spot as a 16 seed in the big dance, they're wondering how the SU team will play without their star center. The Orange lost its only game of the regular season when Mello was benched earlier this year for a reported academic issue. It's going to be tough for us. He's been a crucial part of the team this year. I think we'll be okay, though. I really do think we'll be okay. Well, there's no question SU is going to have to shift the way it plays in this tournament without its seven-foot center. Mello averaging about eight points a game, 88 blocks this season. Fans tonight say they're hoping other members of this team step up. I'm hoping guys like Deion Waiters and Chris Joseph step up. Hopefully they take an underdog sort of role and they go on a run. SU has been on a run all season despite all the distractions off the court. They lost a longtime coach after the sexual abuse allegations against Bernie Fine. Then a report that Syracuse violated its drug policy in past years. But fans say tonight the Orange has proven their focus remains on the court. Outside of their court performance, it's definitely been a tough season. But I think on the court, though, the players have definitely held with each other. A strategy they'll need to continue if they want to keep winning in the tournament. Reporting from Syracuse tonight, I'm Caitlin Newclough.